Hey, good Tuesday morning, my friends. This is M Live Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa. We've been wanting a warming trend. Those of us that have <laughs> trees with leaves and yards covered in snow from that uh, Veterans Day snowstorm, well, the warming trend is going to be here, so you're going to have a chance. You won't have forever, but we'll take a look at that. And yes, I am excited. I don't know the full details of it yet, but the European Center, uh, European Weather Forecast Center, which is kind of a conglomerate of a lot of European countries, uh, similar to, it would be similar to National Weather Service of the U.S., but it would be kind of a weather service modeling agency of Europe. They have released the, uh, reduced the restrictions, and we can now show you, I'm told, the Europeans. So I'm going to show you that today, um, and we'll start to look toward Thanksgiving because both the European and the U.S. model, that's the nice thing is I can show you the comparison now. Both of those show a storm system toward Thanksgiving. Nothing to concern yourself about just yet, but something to keep an eye on. All right, for today... The concern is a little patchy freezing drizzle. Hey, good morning, Bernie Ng and Walt Malin. Good morning. <laughs> yeah, t-shirt weather. I know. I, I got out my MLive short sleeve shirt here just because it's it's warming up so much. Michael Harris, thank you. Good morning. Hope your morning and whole day goes well. Gail Kent, good. Atlanta, Georgia or Atlanta, Michigan. All right, so here we are. We have a lot of clouds around, and that is the one thing that we're going to have to deal with is this is the time of the year where sunshine, all you can do is soak it up and enjoy it for the hour or two that it's there. We do have isolated patches of drizzle and freezing drizzle, so you got to be careful. There's a patch now coming toward I-75, and when we look at the temperatures... Now, these were from an hour ago, and it is warming up pretty quickly. Uh, but some pockets still in Genesee County, Lapeer County, Oakland County, uh, the Thumb, are still at or below freezing. So that could be freezing drizzle. You get to the west side of the state, Grand Rapids, you're at 37, Kalamazoo at 37. So you've warmed up. Muskegon also 36, above freezing. So it's patchy freezing drizzle uh, this morning, turning to drizzle. Here is the radar forecast, and you can see that as we go through the day, nothing as far as heavy precipitation, but we could get some spotty, quick little five, ten minute showers. Hey, good morning, Susan LaPratt from Reese, Michigan. Yes, good. it will be nice to have a fall catch-up day. Stacy Baum, Cadillac, hi. <laughs> okay, Christopher, whatever. We're talking weather, guy. Uh, not whatever you're talking about. So find another, find another live stream or chat room to go rain on a parade. How does that sound? Hey, good morning, Ferrysburg, D.D. Dykehouse. All right, so there's your radar today. Not, I wouldn't really call it much going on. Just a, a few spotty freezing drizzle patches this morning. There has been some freezing dense fog in the southeast, in Detroit area. Uh, you got to kind of watch out for that on overpasses and stuff. Sometimes that fog can freeze and make a layer, but again, in a couple of hours, we'll be well above the freezing mark. All right, now here it is. This is the European model. So it's the same output that I show you, um, a few different things occasionally, but the same output, it just comes from a different model. What we're looking at here, you're getting the hardcore stuff today, folks. I'm not sugarcoating it for you. I'm not babying you on this one. Good morning, Waterford and Pamela Hammond. Hey, Stan Fork, my buddy from Bay City. Um, so what you're getting is you're getting six-hour precipitation, you're getting the surface pressure in the black lines, and you're getting the temperature at 5,000 feet up. And what I want you to focus on, you see these red lines, that's the warming trend. Rula Mitchell tree, time frame for freezing rain. Now and in the next two hours, I would call it freezing drizzle. And it would be in the thumb and the southeast part of the state. So we're going through today. Now we're into tomorrow. And look what's happening. A storm is developing off to the west. And it's pulling the warm air from the south. So this is our warming trend. Uh, there you go, Michael Harris. You're an adult. So we're into Wednesday night. We're into Thursday morning. 
We are in the southerly flow, the warm sector of the storm. Here's the center of the storm. The cold sectors are on the northwest side. So we are fully into the warm sector, and I'll show you the high temperatures. And then we are at midday Thursday and Thursday evening, and we are into rain showers. Maybe a little bit of snow on the back side of this storm system up in the UP, but generally it's going to be rain showers. And does it turn a whole lot colder behind it? It does turn colder. Here you can see the colder air starting to come in. This is by Friday. And is it a permanent cool down? Then we're to Saturday, and we're starting to see the next warming trend develop off to the west. So we're going to flirt with uh, warmer temperatures. This is Sunday, and we're back into milder temperatures Okay, now, and one thing I do want to show you, let's just look at it briefly. Let's go out to uh, day before Thanksgiving. And everything's been showing quite a storm system cranking up here. Now, the track of this will be very important. In this case, we would be on the warm sector, and the snow would fall back in Wisconsin and Iowa. And then as it moves toward the northeast, the European wants to show a wraparound snow. Hey, Mary Jo McDonald, we're showing that right now. Again, too early out in the future to get concerned about travel weather problems, but put in the back of your mind, the point being is two of the best models, European and the US, show a fairly large storm system in the middle of the country next week. Whether you're gonna be on the warm side, the cold side, rain or snow, hard to tell just yet. But the point being is there's a storm out there, and we will keep an eye on it for you, okay? All right, high temperatures today. We continue above freezing. Tomorrow, Wednesday, we're in the low 40s. Thursday, we're 50-ish to maybe 52, 53 along the I-94 corridor. Northern Michigan, you get some melting too in the mid-40s. Maybe even the UP gets all melting. Friday, cooler down into the upper 30s to low 40s. Good morning, Ginny Joe and Mary Hernandez. Good morning. Uh, Port Huron, you probably will just get some rain showers because by the time the showers get to you, you'll be above the freezing mark. This is Sunday and Monday. So you don't see anything really cold. The coldest day we can find... The next several days, I guess I would say, is probably Saturday with highs southern lower in the upper 30s. All right. Now, what I'm going to show you is the upper level temperatures off of the European, 5,000 feet up. That translates to if it's cold or warmer than normal here at the surface. We're going to look out 10 days, and I just want to show you something that I find that you don't really believe sometimes. Weather can actually move back to the west. You normally think of weather moving from west to east. Well, the long wave troughs all the way around the globe can actually move back to the west, and it has a big implication on what you get for a, a couple of week time period on uh, precipitation and temperatures. So what we're seeing is we've obviously been cold in the east. You're gonna gradually see this cold pocket migrate back to the west over the next 10 days and maybe put us into a southwesterly flow. The other thing you're getting here is this is Thursday. That's the warmer than normal temperatures by about 10 degrees or so. And then you get a little cool down on Friday. What you're getting here is that cold air really isn't taking over just yet. Here is a bl big blob of warm air and that's coming toward us by the end of the weekend and into early next week and dissipating as it does so. But look at where the cold pocket's starting to emerge. We think that there's going to be a colder pocket moving back to the west. That would put us into the southwesterly flow for Thanksgiving. That would shoot out storm systems. So here we are at uh, Thanksgiving night. Cold in the west, that would mean a trough would probably come down here, come up like this. This would shoot out wet storms and it could vacillate us between slightly colder than normal to much warmer than normal. Six to 10 day forecast starting to show that. That's for normal conditions, for normal temperatures. And then the eight to 14 day starts to move that cold pocket back to the west uh, and puts us into a wetter type situation. So 
we're seeing a little bit of a weather pattern change from the deep, deep cold that we had in the first two weeks of November. Some respects, it looks like it's going to be in the top three coldest first two weeks of November. Hard to say how it'll all um, pan out. So there you go. Watch out for the freezing drizzle and freezing fog the next hour or two. Then we've got some better temperatures if you're looking for a meltdown, looking to get the leaves off of the yard. And uh, we'll look toward next week and the Thanksgiving travel coming up over the next couple of days as well. I'm MLive Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrosa. Stay warm.